Hi everyone, for today's video uh, I'd like to talk about something that basically I've been talking about quite a bit recently with people face to face and I've realised that maybe there are people who haven't necessarily figured out or realised um, a something to do with this particular topic but also how to deal with the issue and help to kind of rectify it in your own mind so the topic i'd like to discuss is internalized homophobia or and or transphobia which is something that quite a few people within the whole lgbtq plus community may have experienced at some point of their lives we don't talk about it we often quite often don't consider it and it's rare that it's discussed but it's important to consider it for our own well-being because it quite often does play a part in how we feel about ourselves as we learn about our queer identity or our trans identity or our gay or lesbian identity or anything that is not typically um, straight for want of a better word the the whole area is quite um, a topic that could bring you down but I want to look at it with the perspective of helping you to look at why we suffer it or why we may find that we have it as we find out our true selves and as we work towards living our best lives as queer LGBT plus individuals. So today I'm speaking to the wider community rather than just trans and non-binary folk because there are crossovers but it's important to have a look at the whole scenario so with regard to that a lot of us find as we are growing up that we feel a little bit different and we don't know why we're different especially if you've experienced that at a young age if you are four five six or maybe a fraction older when you first realise that you're different you won't necessarily have the vocabulary to put words to it at the moment I see the generation that are growing up now they're finding things out a lot earlier a lot easier and therefore hopefully this won't be an issue necessarily that they grow up with for those of us who are a bit older the, the phrase if you can't see it you can't be it could quite easily resonate with many of us because at the point where we were growing up uh, especially with things regarding section 28 uh, the AIDS HIV crisis areas around LGBTQ issues of the early 80s onwards and even before then being gay or being trans being lesbian wasn't seen as something that you could be uh, most of us know it's not something that we choose uh, it is something that is a part of us and we can't help that it's just as much a part of us as hair color eye color anything to do with that some things we can change like hair color but it's essentially a part of us and so we know we're different because the the general train of thoughts as used to be was you'd grow up you'd go to school get a, an education go and get a job get married have have a family and so on and so forth and it would continue onwards but people who realize early on that they're different to what we're being shown or what, what we were being shown and we don't know why we're different we just know we are and so we have to search 
or who we are and what that means. So the thing then is, as we search, we begin to know ourselves better and we learn who we are. We explore our identity because we know that what we're being offered or what we were being offered is not possibly what we want but because previously we weren't shown gay people on television lesbian people on television trans people on television or in the movies we weren't shown that we didn't see it we didn't realize we could be it so you grow up you know you're different you start to work out why you're different and maybe you don't see other people who are like you so you start to wonder why you're different and then you wonder what is it that's made you different because you haven't been shown this as an alternative and i say alternative it's not but you haven't been shown that this is where your life is to potentially move towards and with that then we start potentially to dislike ourselves we may not feel comfortable with who we are we might feel ashamed or sad or depressed because we're not necessarily living up to the ideal that we've been shown but that ideal was not for us anyway and for many people who've tried to fit that mould many people try it and realise that it, that's not them that's not comfortable that doesn't fit and so we start to dislike ourselves because of that difference instead of celebrating that difference and what, uh, what I'd like to say to people is that because we've done the soul searching and we've looked into who we are by the time we learn and come to terms with the idea that we are gay or we are trans or we are lesbian or anything within the community we've done the soul searching we know so when somebody then turns around and says but are you sure yes we know there might be some things that we want to explore further and that's to every individual's personal choice because we need to find out the things that we enjoy just as much as the things that we don't enjoy in life and so the internalized homophobia and transphobia that has come about often hangs around initially as we get used to it because we're still trying to please others and fit fit a mold that was never for us in the first place and so with that in mind what i would like to say to my fellow members of the community is be you you've done the soul searching you know who you are so when people question you you know for sure who you are you know that you are this or this congratulations good for you go and enjoy your life be happy be you be the best version of you and where possible try to move away from the transphobia or the homophobia that we've internalized because it's not our fault that society at the time couldn't show us the alternative and now we are seeing ourselves represented in the media on screen in films in books and the thing that the mainstream media haven't yet caught up with is how amazing we are as individuals whether that's creatively artistically musically or just generally in life you know because we've done that soul searching we know ourselves and we have a rich tapestry of life that we can 
tap into, learn from, help others with, build each other up and help support each other hopefully and so know that you are loved even if the people who you thought might love you might care for you this is an opportunity to create your own family of friends of people who are not necessarily related by blood but who will be there for you who will love you who will lift you up who will support you in every endeavour and we can create our own families from the people that we meet and get to know and hopefully that will allow the children growing up today to see that they don't need to be ashamed you don't need to be ashamed you don't need to be sad or down because we can all be amazing individuals whether we work together or alone but let's support each other where possible and let's help each other because we we can be amazing together and so i'd like to just say have the best life you can and where possible find the support and the love you need within the community because it will be there if you want to look for it have a great day everybody